that for me really detoxified my body. And then when I started introducing foods, that's when I started with, let's say with the prebiotic probiotic with uh, eating more sauerkraut and whatnot and having more of a plant-based diet and trying to avoid dairy, you know, sugar, and white flour, which would which, which what I call is like the three devils, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. The three devils is a good way to describe it. They really are. I mean, and if you for anybody that's listening to this, if you've seen like the Blue Zones documentary that came out recently on Netflix or read anything at all about the Blue Zones, you know that in the Blue Zones, they're not necessarily all plant based. I mean, they do eat some meat, and I do personally feel like, as depending on the autoimmune condition, some people probably shouldn't be fully plant based over the long term. They probably need some kind of meat for some of the minerals and nutrition nutrients and things like that that are in it. But a lot of us in modern society have gone into too much processed meat. We've eaten way too much meat. We eat way too much dairy. We eat way too much sugar processed foods, all that kind of stuff. And we don't eat the fermented foods. And I think the fermented foods and the prebiotics and probiotics are a big one because that is actually another aspect of the balloons olds as well is that a lot of them eat more of, you know, like the sourdough bread and not the regular bread. And they eat the kimchi, like you mentioned, and the kefir, and they ferment a lot of their vegetables and that kind of stuff. And yeah, I mean, I found fermentation and probiotics to be real key to my healing as well. So 